Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about help with pre-calculus sequences. Now, sequences is a very integral part of pre-calculus, and there's two major kinds of sequences that you want to keep in mind, and so there's a couple of uh, nice formulas to help you out. Now, it depends on what kind of sequence you have, of course, and one sequence is an arithmetic sequence. Now, an arithmetic sequence is a sequence of numbers which are divided, or, excuse me, which are separated by addition or subtraction. So, the formula here is a n is equal to a 1 plus n minus 1 times d. Now what does all this stuff mean? Now a n refers to the nth term. Like which term of the sequence do you want to find? a 1 is the first term of the sequence. Now n is related to this n. In other words, again, if you want to find the sixth term of a sequence, you plug in 6 here. Now d refers to the arith arithmetic difference. Some call it the arithmetic difference. Now, that means the number that separates the, the sequence. In other words, if the sequence is separated by adding 3, d is plus 3. Or if the sequence is separated by terms of subtracting 2, then d would be minus 2. But this is a great formula for the nth term of an arithmetic sequence. Now, the other sequence is geometric sequence. And a geometric sequence is a sequence where the terms are separated by multiplication or division, which, as you know, division is, a, is the re in reverse of multiplication. So the formula associated with that would be a n is equal to a 1 r to the n minus 1. A little bit shorter, if you will. a n is, if you want to find the nth term of a geometric sequence, a 1 is the first term again. r is known as the geometric ratio. That, in other words, the number that separates the terms via multiplication or division. And this n is related to this n, so if you want to find the eighth term of the geometric sequence, you plug in 8. Now, for example, for geometric ratio, if the terms of the ratio are separated by multiplication of 4, then r is going to be 4. Or if the terms are separated by dividing by 10, for example, then r would be 1 tenth because you're actually multiplying by 1 tenth if you're dividing by 10. So, I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's a couple of ways to help you on help with pre-calculus sequences.